Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower Page with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your July 2022 general reading for the sign of the Archer Sagittarius. I have a guest this month, Charlie Evans. Hello. And uh, normally I leave a link in the description box um, where to find her. Um, easiest way is to just type in Charlie Evans on Facebook and, you know, try your luck because <laughs> she hasn't got her own page yet. Um, this is why I can't leave it in the, the in the description box. In any case, what we're doing here, dear Sagittarians, we are looking at the at yourself um, a bit more in depth. And what we will do is we divide topics here slightly, um, just so you get more out of it. So we're looking at the overall energy for the month of July 2022 for your very sign. Before we then look into your emotional core, and that could be if love comes in, whatever can go, that sort of stuff. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities. Um, and opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially. So um, please like, subscribe and share. It helps us grow the channel. Super, 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 super appreciated if you do. And now we're looking at the overall energy for the months of July 2022 for the sign of Sagittarius. Um, yes, yeah, so the card I've got is Facing Fear. Um, so this month it's about Facing those difficult situations uh, is not necessarily talk about fears that you've got to face, although that is good. And if this is coming through to you this month, it might be time to look at that. But it's about facing those situations and circumstances which you've been avoiding for a while. It means that you, it's time to break them down. But the fact that you've got this message this month, it means that the guides will bring extra strength for you. So just make sure that you focus on what are you avoiding why are you avoiding it? What emotional attachments have you got to it? And asking for guidance and help to break down, down those barriers. And by doing that, it will help you heal, emotionally grow and open up opportunities for you this month. Thank you so much. And it's quite interesting because when it comes to your energy um, and it comes to your emotions, you literally have the element of earth with you and the topic of nurture. So earth basically just means that in order for you to actually hmm, heal, this is not about whether or not love is coming in, this is about understanding there's still stuff here that I have to work through, that you have to work through, if that makes sense. And they're asking you to do it by being grounded, right? So this month, anything too hyper won't work. So if you have um, saved up money and you want to go to Spain, by all means, you know, have two weeks of dancing your ass off, fine, right? Uh, but the point is, you would be wiser to maybe go on a trip that is slightly less, yay, hey, <laughs> if that makes sense, right? Um, that doesn't mean it has to be boring, but what I'm getting here strongly for you is, this is the month where you look at yourself and where you nurture yourself. Um, I'm not anti-Spain, I don't know why the Spain thing comes up here. It just feels <laughs> to me that when 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 Sagittarius are going um, just to party, yeah. it is it numbs what you should be looking at this month and it feels wrong. No, Spain to, to is me. a party. Right? No, a party I'm not country, knocking Spain, it's just so... it, came, it just came to me, right? <laughs> I'm not knocking Spain or, or 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 the fact, but the point is when you go to Spain, you go there to get late. <laughs> and and to drink. This is normally what, what most people say. Like, oh, right? So I'm not knocking it at all. It just feels like that for um, for for Sagittarians, because we're talking about the month of July, it makes much more sense to you to pay attention to yourself rather than and this is what I'm getting rather than being out there projecting yourself. If that makes sense, right? Why don't you book August? Still gonna be warm. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then they kind of go, like, yeah, but what is, if in August they say the same? I don't know, we only work here. It just feels to me because you have earth and nurture, if you do stuff that gets you away from yourself, you will not be able to let that healing go. So when, when we talked about not going to Spain, <laughs> right? Same applies to Morocco and all the other countries. So this is not about Spain. <laughs> but instead what they showed me, probably even more expensive, I don't know. They showed me literally like like um, a cruise, like, you know, could have been on the Nile or whatever, right? So it's still very touristy. But because the, the, the way you journey, the way you spend your time is more, is slower, 
it felt much more natural to what you ought to be doing this month with regards to letting stuff go because this is the month where you, let, where you, where you should be um, letting, where you should, where, you, where you should let stuff go and it also has to do with the fact that we're moving from Cancer into into July, into, into Leo and Leo is governed by the Sun, right? And the Sun is what gives you the zest and the energy you need but because the Sun as an energy is literally as at its strongest when it's in, in Leo, if that makes sense, um, um, using that energy to just allow yourself to go through whatever it is you need to go through makes a big difference. So I don't know why there's an argument about you not going to Spain, right? Don't don't shoot the messenger, right? So yeah, now we're looking at opportunities. She's not going to say like, oh yeah, and if there's a Spain holiday coming up, go there, I'm <laughs> just to <describe it. laughs> But let's have a look what's coming up for opportunities for the month of July 2022. And we are in the sign of the Archer Sagittarius. Well, I do have to agree with Thomas uh, with your opportunities for the month, um, because the animal you have is the elk. So it's about standing tall and demanding respect. So if your mates are trying to get you to go to that Spain holiday, but you know you can't afford it, you make sure that you tell them that you say, look, it's not good for me this month. You need to respect that I'm looking after myself, my money. So um, do what you want, but I have to stand my ground. So that's really important to apply that to everything. So make sure that if people are trying to pull you in one direction or trying to uh, ask you for money or saying oh let's do this let's do this let's do this and you really don't want to do it and you really think no that's stretching my budget then don't do it you you deserve you earn your money and you deserve to donate it where you want to and not be peer pressured by anyone else so make sure that you demand the respect that you deserve because you've earned your money you keep it you do what you want with it so yeah just make sure that you focus on that that's really important in terms of other opportunities as well um at work or with friends if people are walking all over you or you feel like um you're not getting that respect make sure that you demand it this month because that's really important and know your self-worth thank you so much and that's all we got time for please like subscribe and share so you won't miss out on future videos thank you so much Bye bye thank you